Alrighty then, as promised, here's the second part. Um, so as you can see, I solved the black center already. So now your cube should look something like this. Blue on top, green on bottom. You can have the yellow anywhere on here, it doesn't really matter. It just has to be on this side. And as long as you have a yellow here, the black has to be across from it. Alright? So now, all we have to do is solve the red and the orange centers. So, in order to do this, first thing that we need to do is try to make, try to figure out which side is going to be the red side. Now, if you've got blue on top, wherever you've got yellow, directly to the left of it, is going to be your red. Thrust taught me how to remember this on the 4x4. Four four. It's blue, mustard, blood. Kind of an awkward way to remember it, but hey, it works. So, this is going to be my red side. So now, this is going to be a bit different. This is going to be a bit different because I have to swap pieces on this side and on this side without screwing up this or this. Now, the stuff that I'm going to teach you is going to look like I'm screwing it up, but if you actually look at it, it, doesn't, it actually helps me. So first things first, I'm going to try to get all the red pieces on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this corner piece down and line it up with that, and then move it back up. This is where the column response really comes in play. You have to move everything back, otherwise you'll screw up your pieces and eh, it won't be all that fun because you'll have to restart. And you won't be able to have the glory of saying I solved a 6x6 V-cube. So let's see now. I need to match this up. This will go up there, so if I bring this down twice, well, actually, that wouldn't be smart, because I'd mess up that edge. So I'm going to move this back. Now bring this down twice, okay? Try to look at what I'm doing here. I've got to get this piece, this piece right here. This is what I'm trying to get. Now, if I pay attention and move this one up, this will go into there. So what I actually have to do is keep this here, move this down twice, move this over, and move it up twice. I made that. So we've already got this one pair here that I made earlier. So what we're going to do is move this over twice. Bring it down, do one, see so now I matched it up, do one more U2, and bring them back up. Actually, that wasn't what I, what I meant to do, actually, so I'll move this back down. Do another U, do not, not a U2 up here, I meant to do a U2 down here. Sorry, that was my mistake. Put you down here and move this back up. There we go. See, now we've got these two here, and we've got these here. Alright, next. Sorry, my brother rudely interrupted me. Um, so next, what we have to do is we have to create the next two pairs. Now, this is going to be a bit difficult to do. You have to really plan really far ahead, so I'm going to teach you an easier way to do this. Let's see, this is going to be the red side, right? So in order to do the red side, think about it this way. If I move two pieces over here, now this, I'm going to turn this back. But if I move two pieces over here, and I do a U2, and I move two pieces over again, I just swapped this row with this row. So, what I can actually do is, my first goal is to get as many red as on one side before I try to do any algorithms of any sort. In this case, there's two reds in this row. There's only one in this one. So it's to my advantage if I move this over to a U2. Now, this is where you have to think. If I move this row up, move this row up, I just moved that, that row down here. So if I do a U2 down here, and do it again. Now if you look, I now have two in this row instead of one. So now I've only got four pieces on this side to do before I finish all the centers. So now let's see. Now let's, we have to look on this side. Now this is where you might want to watch the video made by Mindstorm Creator. It's not really all that hard of a concept. What we're really going to do is like take this red piece here and swap it with this orange piece here. I'll do my best to explain it, but if you don't understand it, try to watch it on his site. It's still a bit difficult to understand, but I finally got it. Okay, so, what you actually want to do is have whatever piece you, pieces you want to swap, you want to have them in the top layer of any side. It doesn't really matter. If you're going to swap, swap this orange with this red, so you notice how I have them both up in the top, on the, in the same row in the top. So now what you want to do is the row that you want to swap, you want to move up twice, and you want to move the other row back down. Now, since it was in the top, I can move it like this, but, well actually you shouldn't move it like that, you should move it over this way. So now, my piece that was up here is now over here. Okay? So now what I have to do is I have to do an R2. 
the outside row. Okay? Now let me try to explain this to you why it was an R2. If this piece is up here, and if I move it over, the piece is going to be over here. So you have to think, if I move it over to, to the right or to the left, depending on where it is, I'll try to explain to you when you have to do that. When you move over to the right or the left, depending on where it is, you have to move a certain row. So basically what it means is, if I turn it to the side, the row that it is in, I have to do an R2 with. So it's up here now, I just reversed everything, so if I move it back up, do the U that I said, now I move that piece over here, so now I have to do this one. Okay? Now, I have to reverse that U that I did, so I have to do a U prime. Now I do that again, now that I do the first move that I did one more time, now I have to do a U one more time, and do the R2. Now if you look, there's only three unsolved pieces left. That one piece that was right here, yeah, that piece is now down here. So now we got to move this piece. So now this is already in the top. So let's move this piece up in the top. Alrighty? So now, do an R2. Just a little R. You want to just move this, just the row that you want to swap pieces with. See, now it's on the right-hand side. If it's on the right-hand side, you have to do a U prime. So now I move the left outside row twice, do a U again, move the right inside row twice, just the right inside row, do a U prime, and move the left outside row twice. So now I'm just left with those two. Now, there are probably algorithms that you can use just to swap them both at the same time, but it's a little difficult to find them, so I'm just going to do the same way again. I have to make sure they're in the same spot. So this is in the top. These are on the sides, so I have to move them to the top. Now this one is going to be, now this is where you have to really think about which row you have to move down. And I want to swap this piece with this piece. So in order to do that, I'm going to move this up twice, move it over. Now look, this is the piece I have to swap now, not this one. So I, can st I should still do a U prime, but this time I'm not moving the outside row, I'm moving the inside row, because that is the piece I have to swap now. Move back to the U, reverse the first turn you made, do this one, because that was the first one you made. And now do a U prime, and well, you can use just common sense to line up the rest of the rows. So, I mean, there's that. And there's one piece that's, that needs to be swapped. So move it into the same spot. Okay, now, this row twice, move it back. Now do a U to line it up like this. So do this row twice. Okay. Now, do a U prime to move it back. Do this row twice. Move that row back. And now, well, if you can solve a Rubik's Cube, I guarantee you'll be able to figure this out. How am I supposed to fix this? I do a U. And do this row twice. Alright. Doing this, you should be able to solve all of your centers. And now, remember that yellow is directly to the right of red. Blue, mustard, blood. You have to remember that. If you don't remember that, you're not going to be able to solve the centers correctly. So, yeah, that's that. So, next step is edge pairing.